Tough skin. Uh, you've been attacked by the president several times, but you are an elected official. Um, there's a very different flavor when the president goes after this whistleblower and anybody who informed the whistleblower. There's language that the president has used over the last week, including calling them traitors and spies and saying that they should be dealt with as, as traitors. Today, again, saying, I want to know who this person is. It's almost like he's sending a message out there. Someone needs to turn this whistleblower in uh, and that there were, he, he tweeted, in fact, consequences. I think going after Maxine Waters is is different than going after uh, a whistleblower. Well, whatever. He shouldn't be going after anybody. He's the president of the United States of America. He's setting some of us up to be killed. I have death threats constantly. There are a number of people who have been convicted uh, for threatening to kill me. And when he does that, he's dog whistling to the white supremacists, the KKK, and the dangerous people. And we have stories about many of those white supremacists who do nothing but practice how they're going to uh, be involved in a civil war and fight against this government. And this president is irresponsible. In so many ways, aside from making us a target, now we're going to insist on it. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. You have members of your cabinet uh, that are being booed out of restaurants. Who yeah. have protesters taking up at their house? Yeah. Who's saying no peace, no sleep? We're going to win this battle, and so let's stay the course. Let's make sure we show up wherever we have to show up. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. Of these white supremacists and those who would kill us in a civil war, some of us will be the first uh, to be killed. And so I want to tell you whether it's Maxine Waters or whether it's a whistleblower, he has no business doing that. Do you think he he's endangering no people's safety? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I can't go to the grocery store uh, anymore by myself. I have to pay for security uh, all the time. I can't move around the country without security.